Divine Mercy message for August 5th, 2022. Proclaim my great mercy. Once, as I was talking with my spiritual director, I had an interior vision, quicker than lightning, of his soul in great suffering, in such agony that God touches very few souls with such fire. The suffering arises from this work. There will come a time when this work, which God is demanding so very much, will be as though utterly undone. And then God will act with great power, which will give evidence of its authenticity. It will be a new splendor for the church, although it has been dormant in it from long ago, that God is infinitely merciful. No one can deny he desires everyone to know this before he comes again as judge. He wants souls to come to know him first as king of mercy. When this triumph comes, we shall already have entered the new life in which there is no suffering. But before this, your soul of the spiritual director will be surfeited with bitterness at the sight of the destruction of of your efforts. However, this will only appear to be so because what God has once decided upon, he does not change. But although this destruction will be such only an outward appearance, the suffering will be real. When will this happen? I do not know. How long will it last? I do not know. But God has promised a great grace especially to you and to all those who will proclaim my great mercy. I shall protect them myself at the hour of death as my own glory, and even if the sins of souls are as dark as night, when the sinner turns to my mercy, he gives me the greatest praise and is the glory of my passion. When a soul praises my goodness, Satan trembles before it and flees to the very bottom of hell. From the Diary of St. Faustina, number 378. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com. Jesus, I trust in you.